The city of Quincy has been picked for a state-funded program, and it could mean better safety. The mayor says a new sidewalk project will give families the ability to walk downtown with more peace of mind. Eyewitness News reporter Lenitra Bennett joins us now live in the studio with all the details. Lenitra, what can you tell us? Abby and AJ, Quincy officials say they've seen mothers with strollers trying to navigate South Adams Street. So installing sidewalks in that area is a big deal for pedestrians who will no longer have to dodge cars while trying to share that busy stretch of road. Cameron Marlowe always walks a few feet in the grass away from the road when possible. Is it scary? You have to look back and see what's going on. Quincy city officials hope to take that fear out of walking on South Adams Street by building sidewalks. A sidewalk will go from Clark Street down to MLK Street, an area filled with schools, daycares, and parks. You don't want your child walking in the, in the streets, do you? You know, you want them to be prepared to, to go to school the right way. You ain't got to worry about them getting hit by a car or getting ran over trying to cross the street. The $368,000 project will be funded by the Florida Department of Transportation's Safe Routes to School program. 3,000 feet of sidewalk will help connect pedestrians from downtown to inside the community. Right in the middle of that six-hour crown jewel, the Tanya Creek Park, we certainly don't want any accidents to occur simply because there's no avenue for citizens to walk to and for to and fro of the city. The sidewalk construction project will also include improvements to the drainage system. The plan will cover the drainage ditches currently along the western side of Adams Street and build an underground drainage system for rainfall. Now it's going to be a while before they get those sidewalks. Construction won't begin until 2019, but Mayor Elias says they're just glad to know that they're on that list because it was a competitive process. Live in the studio, Lenitra Bennett, WCTV Eyewitness News. Thanks, Lenita, for that report. 